<laughs> okay, I know the Super Mario Bros. coming out this week coming, this Wednesday, I'm going to say on Friday. So, we have to talk about the infamous one. The Super Mario Bros. The Movie. Uh, this is a 1993 video game adaptation. The very first video game movie to be made on the big screen. Uh, and this film is written by two um, directors who are husband and wife. Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jekyll. I think that's her name is. The plot of this movie. What is this plot? What is this plot of this film? Um, the plot is we see Mario and Luigi who are two plumbers in Brooklyn, New York City. Who are just plumbers. It's not till they both meet this girl named Daisy and Luigi falls in love with her and she gets kidnapped by these group of henchmen that who work for King Koopa who is meant to be Bowser played by Dennis Hopper so it's up to Mario Luigi to save her and stop King Koopa's evil deeds that he's going to plan to invasion and create this dinosaur army which is the Goombas and blah 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 um yeah, it's pretty obvious. This movie, I know, look, I get this film it has now grew a fan base and it has a cult following, which I do understand it has a cult following. It has a lot of fans who grew up with this, but for me, I don't hate it. I wasn't, I was ready to hate this movie. I'm ready to say, fuck you. A movie exists. Somehow I watched it and I own it on Blu-ray and I'm going to probably sell this away because I'm not going to watch this again since the new animated film is coming out. Um, yeah, look, this film has trouble production design and really trouble filmmaking. And many people are saying this, this film is a complete disaster. I know it has a cult following. And for me, I don't hate it. I don't despise it. I just thought it was just pretty bad. It is just bad. Bob Hawkins and... John Leguizamo as Mario and Luigi. Now look, I do like these actors. I do. Bob Hopkins, rest in peace. Um, I know he comes out and he admitted how he didn't like working this movie. I think most of the cast didn't like this movie working on it. Despite this one has a cult following. Bob Hopkins as Mario. He was good. I think he does the best he could. I think most he does as much as he can. You do see him with his brother Luigi, played by John Leguizamo, who he did a fine job. Both of them got the chemistry the brotherhood liking is there i do like it it is pretty um enjoyable um funny thing is this doesn't feel like a mario movie this is feel like it's just a blade runner meets wizard of oz or the wizard or something it's called or whatever you want to call it some people compare this one to this day uh this film is really really bad um there's so many things wrong with it the directing and the style the way it's shot really looked um, of course, we meet this girl named Princess Daisy, played by Samantha Methods. Um, Princess Daisy, she's fine. The actress did okay, you know, not much to her. Which is funny, the interest of Princess Daisy, but not Princess Peach. How interesting. Um, she's fine. She's worked. She was basically related to this whole dinosaur thing because she's got this crystal around her neck. Okay, the plot of this whole dinosaur thing is very... Um, questionable it's a great questionable storyline it doesn't feel like a mario game it feels like it, it would just they took the name of mario but do something with dinosaurs which it came out the same year a couple weeks before jurassic park one of the greatest movies i've ever made got tanked at the box office this made this movie made less than its budget and it just makes it so pathetic oh this film was stupid so much to tell um yeah, so the whole dinosaur crystal thing that she's got on her, on her neck that King Cooper wants, that's why he wants to kidnap her. So Mario Luigi has to go to this underground zoos into this weird creature. It's meant to be Mushroom Kingdom, but it doesn't look like Mushroom Kingdom. Like, again, it looks like Blade Runner. It looks like a Blade Runner world, but underground. And then Mario Luigi gets taken by this, please, which is quite a question. But there's so many questionable stuff in this movie. There's... So many questionable things in there, so many stuff, so many things that doesn't make sense, doesn't have anything to do with Mario. It just felt flat, it felt uneven with its story, it's inconsistent, and it's 
lack of faithfulness to its source material. There's so many things wrong with this movie. And of course, let's talk about the villain. Dennis Hopper as King Koopa, who is meant to be Bowser. Dennis Hopper, rest in peace. <sighs> This, what, what, what is he doing in this movie? What is he doing in this movie? All these actors should be ashamed of themselves being in this film. This film just does not make sense. This is a really bad movie. The, the story itself is bad. The acting is just questionable. The dialogue and the cringiness, it's just it's so much stuff. And when King Koopa puts these um, guards and transform into these Goomba, like dinosaur like him, and of course that's it's very questionable, the CGI, especially the special effects. The visual effects just looked awful. It just doesn't look great. It doesn't hold up. I always say, oh, it's 1993. you got to respect that. Yeah, of course. But I've seen back in the 90s has visual effects that still holds up. Like, Hook. Hook still holds up for this very day. And that's a cult following. Um... Even some of the 90s, whatever 90s film you think visual effects still holds up. Ninja Turtles still holds up to this very day. But this looks pretty bad. I'll admit the practical effects on the Goombas are pretty cool. They're, they're, they're something, so I'll give it that for sure. Um, everything about this movie is just completely uh, dog shit. It's like, it's like poking this... A stick, you're using a stick, you're poking it like a piece of shit, it doesn't do anything, you're just looking at it, you go, what is this, what is that? You know, this film could have been so much better, they could have just made it into a live action. Now, look, when it comes to video game adaptations, because video game adaptations are not the best when you think about it, because you look at video game movies now, we have movies like Pokemon Detective Pikachu, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, we have, soon we're going to have the Super Mario Bros, the animated one. And of course, we had The Last of Us TV show, which was honestly the best video game show ever made. But now, they shove this in here with this. How you not do a video game movie. This is not how you do a video game movie. This is really bad. And you have Yoshi, which Yoshi was cute, but he's just not in the movie that much. He's barely nothing to do with it. He helps Princess Daisy for a bit, but... He's barely in a movie. He doesn't know Mario or Luigi that much. He's just there. He's just a normal looking dinosaur. Oh, man, he does the tongue thing, which is good. And King Kuba is fine, but he's nothing look like Bowser. He's just, he doesn't look like Kuba. He looks like a thing, but he does turn to a Kuba. He looks like a giant dinosaur. He looks like a dinosaur. You don't see Mario and Luigi wearing their uniform till like the last half to the movie. It's so pathetic. It's so dumb. This is a big disappointment. This, now, like I said, I don't physically go on a full rant on this movie. This film is so bad. It's questionable. It's just questionable choices. Lack of faithfulness. I'm glad everyone that has spoke up about this movie. And I'm glad Paul Hopkins, John Lagazamo, Smatha Mims, Dennis Hopper, and even Shazgira May Morrow. The creator of Mario has come out and said that he didn't like it. That's why he never made the Mario movie till today from Lumination. So yeah, Super Mario Bros. movie, it's such a waste of time. This is a big disappointment. I get it has its fans. I do respect that. You guys do like it. That is cool. But for me, I did not care for this movie. I'm going to say skip it. Skip this movie. If you want to watch it, by all means. But... I'm skipping this movie. If you guys are not interested, skip this movie. Skip it. Skip it. And skip it. Oh, glad I got out of the way. Now I am looking forward to the Super Mario Bros. anime movie now. <laughs> so much guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And tell me what's your thoughts on the Super Mario Bros. movie. And of course, are you excited for the animated version? Guys, like, comment, subscribe. See ya!